As we get closer to the announcement of newer cameras, we see more and more rumors popping up, people speculating on what the camera will be or what the camera should be. But if you think about the shooting experience first, then what features really matter to you? Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jorge. On this channel, we talk about photography and filmmaking, merging creativity and productivity to live a fulfilling life. And in today's video, we'll talk about some of the features that I like to see in every single new Fujifilm camera. Fujifilm will be hosting their X Summit and announcing new gear later this month. And a lot of people seem to be discussing the rumors, the specs, and even writing crazy headlines. But to be completely honest with you, I could not care less about specs. Stacked sensors and high resolution really mean nothing if you don't want to use your camera, if you don't want to go out there and practice your craft. So the shooting experience is what really matters to me, and that's what I would like to talk about today. After living abroad, using my camera every single day for years, and now testing and reviewing older cameras on this channel, I've come to realize that the shooting experience is all that matters, at least to me. If you're one of those people that really care about specs, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But in this short video, we're mainly talking about the shooting experience first, and the top three features that I like to see in every single Fujifilm camera from here on. Let's get started. I believe every single Fujifilm camera should have a built-in ND filter, and that is something that I got used to having around with the X100 series, but it's very important and it's something that affects your day-to-day -day shooting and your experience as well. Even when I own a Cine camera package like the FS5, it had a built-in variable ND filter and it made shooting faster and a more pleasant experience. I mentioned in my X Pro 1 review that I wish the camera had a built-in ND filter, especially because the maximum shutter speed is only 1 over 4,000 of a second. A lot of people responded that none of the X-Pro cameras had it, none of the X-T cameras had it, so why complain about it? Just buy a filter, keep it in your pocket, have a camera bag, keep all the stuff with you while you're shooting. And I understand that point of view, I understand that mentality. But once you actually use the internal ND filter of, let's say, the X100F or the X100V, then you would realize that it's really hard to go back. Not everybody wants to carry filters with them, not everybody wants to carry a camera bag with them. And if you think that the first reaction to walking 16 kilometers every day and exploring a new city or new country that you've never been to before is, I cannot wait to carry all this gear in a camera bag with me, then you are mistaken. Some people just want to remove friction, to go out there to take photographs and to enjoy the process. I'm not trying to invalidate anyone's opinion, but if you are a shooter first, someone that enjoys going out there and taking photographs more than specs and things like that, then you clearly understand the value of removing friction. Leaving your home with just your X100 camera and nothing else feels great, a real joy to use. And now that I've been using, testing and reviewing cameras here on this channel, I can feel the friction. A built-in ND filter is a great way to remove friction, gives you options, and lets you go out there and just enjoy the shooting process. This is a feature that is typically reserved for higher-end Fujifilm cameras, but it's really, really important, and it should be in every single Fujifilm camera. A dual SD card slot is one of those things that I really enjoyed about the X-T3 when I reviewed it. The X-Pro3 has it, the X-T4 has it, the X-H1 had it, and it seems like they might be implementing this and improving it on the newer cameras. It should be in all cameras, the X-T40 whenever that comes out, the new X100 camera whenever that comes out. It should be in all cameras. And it doesn't really matter if you need to get creative to accommodate that. For example, a great way to implement it without changing the form factor of these cameras is to do the same thing that the Leica M11 did. You could offer fast internal flash storage in a single SD card slot, allowing the camera to write to both storage options at the same time and provide redundancy. It's a really clever way to offer this feature in smaller cameras or form factor limited cameras as well. And just like that, you will not be at the mercy of an SD card failing, corrupting, accidentally deleting your photographs and losing all your progress. It's a great feature that every single Fujifilm camera should have from here on. Weather sealing is very important for people that travel, that explore, that shoot on location and don't want to miss a moment because of the weather or postpone a shoot. 
I did mention this in my X100V review. There was more than one occasion where I found a great location but missed out on the opportunity of getting the photograph that I wanted because of the lack of weather resistance on the X100F. And then I had to go back to the same spot another day to try to capture the photograph. Examples like typhoon season in Japan presented an opportunity to capture photographs that I don't normally get the chance to get. So yes, adding weather resistant was a major upgrade for the X100V and is a feature that should be present in every single Fujifilm camera from here on. And I understand that this doesn't really matter for people that shoot in studios and control environments, but when you consider the amount of people that use these types of cameras for street photography, for travel photography, for weddings, for family photographs, things like that, then it's very clear that most people would benefit from weather sealing. So those are the top three features that I like to see in every single Fujifilm camera from here on. New sensors and higher resolution are nice things to have, but not the most important thing in my opinion. As always, I'm curious to know what do you think. Which features would you like to see in your cameras? Which ones matter to you? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and join my free newsletter as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.